Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you ever seen a bathroom more compact than this one? Well, even in this little tiny space, you can use the Panda washer. You can see how little it is. It's very compact and the little hoses still hook up nicely to a bathroom sink, even one as small as this. You hook the one where the water goes in right to the faucet of the bathroom and you hook the drain hose right over the edge of the sink. And even in this teeny tiny little bathroom you can make this panda washer do an excellent job. You can see the knobs. This one is the wash timer and you turn it up to 15 minutes. The middle one is for turn it either to wash or to drain. You leave it in the middle. And this is the spin timer. Then you can see there are two lids. This side is the wash basin. And you can see it's very deep and it's very uh, it's wide. And this is the little filter. You snap this off when you want to clean it. Okay. Then the other side is the spin dry, and this is smaller, and it has a second lid to help protect the stuff from flying out. This is the cover. You would load it up, and then you place this over your garment. So you can see that the wash basin is much bigger than the spin basin, because the things need more room to fly around when they're being agitated than when they're spinning. But I still, uh, whenever I use this thing, I put more in there and then I take turns spinning it just because I think it spins a little better. The wash tub actually holds a lot of things. I'm going to stuff two bath towels in here and you can see that there is still lots of room. It doesn't even take up like half of it. And I realize there's no water in there, but you can see that it holds a lot of material. Then if I wanted to spin, I would only put one towel at a time. And you can see that that will fit. And then you're going to squash it down if it was wet, which it's not. And you would put this lid this uh, safety part on it, then you would close this lid and then shut this one to spin. So you can see that it holds a lot. I mean you can wash multiple bath towels at once, which I wasn't sure how much this thing would hold and I was amazed and it gets it surprisingly clean and spins it pretty dry. You then have to hang it up of course, but this little thing does a great job. Are you wondering how many pairs of jeans can fit in the Panda? Well, here's three pairs of jeans, adult size. They belong to my daughter, but she's a full-grown adult. She's not a little child. And I can push three pairs of jeans in there. And you can see there's still lots of room. It's only like half full. And if this was water, it would still only be, you know, there would be plenty of room. You could put five pairs of jeans in here and agitate them around. If you were going to wash your jeans, I would suggest that you turn them inside out just to keep the uh, fabric last better if it's not brushing against each other and it also helps to avoid lint. So wash them on the inside out. Then between washes of say towels and dark things and light things, you'd want to wipe it out to make sure you removed all the lint that you could. Just take a little paper towel or something and wipe it out to help uh, prevent lint from transferring onto your next load of clothes. If you're still thinking about getting the Panda washer, go ahead and get it. It is a fabulous little machine. This one's been in use at my daughter's apartment for six months. She uses it all the time. And it's still like brand new. The hoses have held up fabulously and everything washes like a dream. So if you don't have access to a large washer and dryer or you're, they're far too expensive, get the Panda. You won't be sorry. Leave me a comment on how you're enjoying the Panda Washer and I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.